Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon, so then you can never miss another upload. Because come on, my videos are pretty decent. Yeah, decent, like, you know. But they're so good. Anyway, so, today, if you have a look, wait a minute. What do you mean, origami pieces? I'm going to show you... The origami pieces, again, but this time, they're perfect. Yeah, I'm going to show you tips, and I, I'm going to show you all the way to how I got mine ter ter <laughs> terrible to really good. Now, if you're watching it like, um, I just watch your videos because I like your videos. If you're wondering, wait, what are origami pieces? On my YouTube channel, I do some origami 3D pieces, which are... All these pieces here now. If you're if you're thinking like, wait a minute, what's that noise in the background? It's just a bag because I keep them in the bag, and there's a reason why. So I can separate all the colours from them. And second of all, it's so then um so that no dust goes in them and discolors them. Now you can make awesome things like this with them, like this now. Please, um, he's an angry bird or an angry penguin. He is. Please, just don't don't say anything about him. Um, maybe say in the comments, but like, you know, may maybe not like shout it out loud. Maybe put in the comments and I'll read them. Because <laughs> obviously, though, yeah, I don't even know how he got angry. It might be the beak. It might maybe take the beak off and redo the beak. That could be a way. It is just angry. Please tell me in the comments why he's angry. Like, how I can fix it. And second of all... Oh, by the way, this this took a lot of pieces. This took the most... This is my second model. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Wait, boom. <laughs> that was really quick. Yep. So, it's one of these. Whatever you call them. Please leave one comment section down below what they're called. I kind of forgot. The this is all, all the beak here. It's all um, glued in, except all the other pieces are not. Now you should glue them. So you've got the base there, so they go flat. You've got them all there, and, and if you have a look, this is, oops, <laughs> this is one origami piece. You just put it back. There we go, and it's very beautiful, very nice, with a small beak, which I've glued the on to. That was very hard to make that small, don't go that small. Or if you want to make a really small model, go on, go ahead. There you go. Anyway, so, let's go and show you, boom. Now, I obtained 64 pieces from this now obviously if one gets messed up um you have four left i keep them in ten and i'll show you now first though if you are going to make it i'm going to choose out a green because i go rainbow colors with these so i've done light green now i need to do good dark green which is this and i'll go light blue dark blue and i'll go purple pink pink purple whichever way anyway so obviously first rule is never make out a card no joint now, if you make out a card, go on, go ahead. It takes forever to fold them. And second of all, the pieces, they all like always go bop and always like unflap. So never make out a card. I did that once and my God, it was the worst. But, you know, it's it was really bad. So first though, to make these, I need to show you how to make the origami piece that obviously is a piece that makes the pieces really big now what you want to do is you want to, to get a4 paper you want that to be a five is it is it yeah i think it is so you want to fold in half i know a3 is really big and a4 it's this size i know it's a bit weird like you think of the number is like, get on me that big. And now, if you're wondering, like, are you actually wasting paper for these? 
these sometimes get a bit bent so if you have a look you can see like a mark there these come and if you just need a new one take one off pull out the back and that's a brand new one which oh wait a minute this one is broken too wait they're all broken don't you worry they're actually not but if they are just make another one of these tools now these are the main tools to make your pieces perfect like this now if you are wondering how to get your pieces so perfect i know the method and i'm going to teach you now do this for another time to so get another piece of paper do it again to so just fold it in half like a card shall i say that's what fold i'm going to say i actually know like a water bomb base thing uh, I, I, do, I do know how to make that, duh. <laughs> but, you know, mountain folds, valley folds. Mountain of folds are like this. They're shaped like a valley. I mean, mountain. While the valley folds are down like this. that are shaped like a valley. Just saying, because you might know. Now, what you need to do now is you need to go and get one of these. When you want to go and turn. Now, don't do that. You want to go and fold in half like this now don't you worry you're not going to make all your pieces out of this as i just told you it's literally the tool i'll show you how to make the actual pieces soon i just want to show you the tool now you can just skip this and have really bad pieces but if you want to impress people on your origami and especially these models you want to go and make your pieces really nice now what you've done that is I'm going to go and fold in half. Do fold in half because these pieces do have to be perfect. And fold this line to this middle point. Like this. Now they are pretty hard to make. Like the big ones. But when you get smaller they're easier. But at one point if you go really small. They get really hard to make. Like it takes... A long time now fold like this turn and fold this right down to this and fold this right down to this like that and then fold this down like this and fold this one down like this now you just want to fold in half but don't fold it fully just fold it in half like this now what you want to do is, you want to go inside here, you just want to lift it out and it has this curve shape to it like that. And then you just want to put your finger in it. Then you want to go make that fold like this to make that curve shape. Now, do that, but do it to the other three. Now I'm not going to do it, but I'm just going to use these just pretend that these are the actual ones i'm just going to use these now you just want to go and get this you want to go and get these and just put one in this first pocket and put the other in this so i call these the horns and these are the pockets first pocket there second pocket on the other first horn there second horn there so put the first horn in the first horn like this Put the sec wait, put the first horn in the first pocket, put the second hole in the second pocket like that and push and then do the exact same to the others. So how I do is I just close like this and put them like this. And once you have four in a row like this, boom, you've got your origami piece, which is like a way. Now, please don't click off this video. I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect origami pieces i'm going to show you not this method but a method that can make them quicker but don't do it to the big ones like the big ones are good like when i say good i mean like you do need to make them perfect but origami pieces will go a bit lopsided so you want to go and get your origami i mean your a4 piece of paper not origami you want to fold it in half this way not the origami piece fold in half not that one where you fold it like that fold in like a card shape the one that i said for which i didn't know what the fold was <laughs> now i'm just gonna call it a card shape it might maybe in part let's see if that's perfect yep and then once you've done that age you're gonna open up you want to go in 
you want to go and cut it, which I'm going to use the ripping technique, which is really effective and it gives you really good pieces. Now, you've got these two pieces, get one and fold it in half. Again. Now there is a website that you could buy these pieces just on your own, like actual pieces, and you can buy the paper to make the piece and you just have to fold them. So there you go, so you have, should have two with one here. Do it again. Fold it again. Now don't you worry, I'm doing this in colour because I'm going to fold and cut and do all that. I'm going to do that all by myself in my own time because... Please don't estimate how long I watch YouTube while folding these. Because they take like up to like one and a half hours to, it depends, like for 64. Now you want to go and fold it. Again, so you should have three there and one in your hand. Fold it again. Whip that bit. Open up and boom now You've got four here and you've got one here This is the large size of the origami pieces, which I don't do them I do the small size which if you want and now if you want this There's two of them and just repeat that on the other side do that again do it all to them So they're all the same size For all the sheets like all of them, but if you want to do one that has 64 now this has 16 next one i'm going to show you the 32 ones which is the medium one now you could go really big or really small whatever size you like but there are three sizes now you should have one two three four five here and one in your hand this is the medium size which i started off i started off with the big ones and i started off with medium when i should do the small actually because it produces more now what you want to do is, if you want to make my size, you want to go and fold it again, like this, and this is 64 pieces. This is the size, this is the size that I, I should have. So you have one in there, and you should have one there. So one, two, three, four, five and six pieces of paper now you just want to do that to every single one so there's another piece you want to go and fold this one like this just do the exact same this does take a while but once you've done it you can go on the fun part which is making the pieces i think it's fun and do this fold this open up Put that to the side, fold this one, rip it, open up, there's another size, fold it, rip it, open up and do the same to do that, which I'm going to maybe show now. It's exactly a quick way, actually. I did another method, and this is quicker. Now, you can listen to music. You can do this in your own time, like if your family does, like, a movie night. You could do this if you want while watching the movie. You could do that, which my family does. Fold it again. So, yeah, you, you can listen to music. You can watch YouTube. You can watch TV. You could do anything while doing this. Or you could be really silent. Or you could do your homework while doing this. I don't know how you men do that, but... <laughs> so... I'm not going to do it for the others because we're going to be here for ages. We haven't even got halfway. But there's a few pieces. Do it for all of them. Once you've done it, boom, I've done it. <laughs> you want to go and have these other garment pieces, which should be like about this stack now. Let's go make the origami pieces. Yay! <laughs> so now... What you want to do is, for this is, you need your tool that you just made before, so make four of them. And 
once you've done that, you need obviously your one of your sheets. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna get one piece out so I can obviously demonstrate something. So once you've got them ready, and once you've done that, you can just click off the video. Right, and once I've showed you, you can just do it for all of them. Right, so let's see if we can maybe find one that's not. There you go. So. Cool. Very perfect. This. Yeah, do you see the difference? Yeah, this, I'm sure this is perfect. Anyway, what I'm just not showing off is just that this method is good. Now, right, so now what you want to do is we're going to fold the pieces. So, what you want to do is you want to grab one and you want to go and fold it in half like this. Now, what you want to do is you want to fold it in half again, open up, fold these. Into the middle, open this up, fold this in the middle. So I turn around to do it. So you should have this, and then turn and fold these, and then fold this. But what I do is I do that, and then I fold this down. You don't have to do that, but it's definitely quicker. So you can just work on one of them like that you know it's like a workshop here <laughs> you got the papers there pieces there <laughs> yeah, and then once you've done that is you want to go and fold in half but don't fold it fold it fully in half just fold, just hold it at these two points there now there's one of your pieces but to get this round effect which is one there you want to go and put one in the what first horn in the first pocket, second horn in the second pocket, which we did then. You want to go and push until it stops there. Push one horn, push the other until it stops. Now let's go and zoom in like this. And then what you want to do is you want to go and get your fingers like this. And you just want to go and smooth it. So I pull it in there and I just twirl it around. Just then it has that curved shape. Now it's definitely worth it because that's how you make the pieces really good. Let's take it off. And there you go. There's one piece. Now I'm going to show you a second method which you can make these but quicker. So fold in half like this. Then you want to go and get your nail and you want to point and point it in the middle and you want to go and fold this up to that fingernail there fold in half now i turn this is what i do and you can fold it and just pull it right next to that now it does take a long time but to do it but boom that is perfect and i didn't need any fold but these become better pieces then you want to go and fold that, and I fold this down like this. It just, I think it makes it quicker. Do it on the other side, fold it down. So there's just that little thing which you don't have to fold it and then pull it over. You could just pull it over and it knocks like maybe a second off, something like that. So it does take a long time, and then just fold it, fold it, hold it at the point. Don't actually fold it. And if you have a look, it should look something like this. Starts out small in the middle and goes big at the top. Now, if it doesn't look like that, don't you worry. You do kind of adjust it when you pull it on there. Now, pull it back on the tool. First on the first row, second on the second row. Do that. And then you want to go in. So, it is already round, but always do still do it. So, I just pull it inside the between there. And I just move mine like this on the nails like this however you do it so i do it actually at the side of the nails and however you do it there you go so see the difference yeah this is a bit a little bit lower than that so doesn't matter it's it's still the same it's just that one better one is better than others now make all these and put every 
so fold cut these all out to these make every single one of these which you should have 64 now if one fails get rid of it you don't need it now once you're not go and get 10 pieces so i've got 10 here and you want to go and put the first in the first row second and second put it like that and then get another one so that's number three and keep on doing that and put 10 so that's four five six seven eight nine now you don't have to push fully down 10 now this keeps them all nice and easy so when someone steps on it it will obviously if they step on these these would all go a bit down but you could obviously adjust them but someone steps on it or like maybe presses down it's pretty solid except at the end it's kind of not but obviously i'm not really expecting for you to do that and do it for every single piece now there should be four left and you can go and put them away for them failed ones. Or if you just want to put them together and put them in the bag. Or if you want to just add the other four onto the ten. It's alright. Don't do what you do. And put it in like anything. Now what I recommend is pulling it in. Open up. And pull it in a bag that has that colour. Now let's go and just go out a bit. And then obviously I just do that. Pull just to do it. No, so what this does is it keeps them all apart and second of all is that no dust can go through them and discolour them like if you to get one piece just make one white piece now what i should do is if you are making these origami pieces start with white yeah just start with white and then just keep on going along all the colours. So I go with white, red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green. If you don't have any light green or dark green, just take one green. Or if you have more colours, you just do it in the colours that you like. And obviously though, if I leave one of these white pieces out, just leave on your desk, leave it somewhere. If you keep on checking it every single day, it will start getting discoloured and the reason why it's kind of like dust now you can kind of see it on these it's usually at the ends but once you make the models it won't happen a lot because most of it is kind of covered and it, it just yeah but if you're obviously making it you should definitely put them in the package and if you want me to show more of these videos on how to make like more like these and all other stuff now these um if you want me to show it Okay then, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what I should do next. If you want me to make more of these videos, but also, both I do folding paper. Some of these, there will be some of these that pop up. If you are wondering, like, you might maybe be wondering, it's just because I need a lot more pieces than this. Yeah, a lot more so we can do big projects, get what I mean? Now... I will make two models. One will actually be taken apart and put together, which you shouldn't do that. You should actually keep them. And the second one, which is the one I'll be showcasing. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Because obviously, why would I want another one of these? Only for one, like, you know, for one, like a blue one or a red one or a green one. Like, you, you get what I mean. If I want another one of these, which I made a bigger one, which. It's the 16, remember? 16 pieces. They're not that big. I think it's this one, it is. Yeah, it's this one. This makes this big, which look, does really look happy, but I think it's because of the beak. Well, there it is. It's a rainbow colour, because I don't think I had a lot of pieces. It's like a thousand, but it's not really a lot, because you don't actually know how many pieces. But it's this, just put them in packages. I know you... I would just make a bunch of pieces and once you're ready, maybe look them up, maybe see how many pieces is that making? This is like 30, of, like over 30 pieces for the white and over 60 pieces for the blue and uh, three orange pieces. So, yeah, including if you are wondering for the beef, that's actually not a piece. <laughs> Anyway, so there you go. Thanks for watching. This has been Sinclair. And comment down below what I should do next. And I would like to see you in another video. So I'll be off. Good.
Bye!